no mentally productive weekend. It was not mentally productive. I mean, I got shit on my mind. I mean, it's something capping my head off, and I can't get shit off my mind. What I've been fucking with lately is, why was I born? You know what I'm saying? I always like to say, why are we here? Why, why is humanity here? I'm on some, uh, I'm on some mean shit right now. Caveat, the South, rural area. So people used to have kids to work fields, you know. So you have more hands on deck, you know, have a lot of babies uh, just for whatever purpose. Just out here now, I've been having a lot of discussions with uh, my mom about uh, relationships. And she thinks that I'm of the mindset that I believe that relationships won't work out because hers and my dad's didn't work out, you know. And for that matter, I haven't seen many relationships in my in my immediate area, in my entertainment sphere, in my uh, educational sphere. I haven't seen many relationships that work out, period. So I tell us, like, you know, you put too much pressure on yourself. But, you know, there's a lot of motherfuckers out here having kids, you know, to secure a bag. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers out here having kids because they lonely. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers out here having kids just to get away from their shitty ass family. You know what I'm saying? And utilizing um, housing and Section 8 and stuff like that. Well, if I get pregnant and have a baby, I can get away from this house, whether it was something uh, like detrimental going on in that house or whether they just needed freedom so bad that it was like, oh, this is an avenue out of this way. You know, I can get out of here and, you know, I. I wonder, like, what it would be like to be born of love, you know what I'm saying, to be born simply because uh, it's two people that come together, they really care about each other, and that's what they hope to do, is to bring a life into this world that is free and unbound, and that they choose to encourage to do whatever that body chooses to do like you know what I'm saying somebody that has you and it's like oh I'm gonna look into you I'm gonna check you out and see who you are and I'm gonna do the best I can to encourage you in your development and you know not to further the family cause or not to fight for some uh, religious reason or to you know just just who are you and you know let me do the best I can to facilitate this life that I ushered into this world me and this other person and we're actually in communion and fellowship with each other and that's our goal and our purpose together how many motherfuckers was born to that not many if any <laughs> I'm talking, you know you're trying to get your head right trying to get you know you know be positive you know with positivity I looked it up I'm like no 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 positivity does not mean you know sunshine flowers and rainbows fake it till you make it anyway that's just you know positivity also means affirmative like uh you got a positive result on that test you know what i'm saying whether it be you know good news or bad news it's malignant or benign it don't matter it's it's positive you know what i'm saying so ah uh, what do you what do you do what do you do hey <laughs> what do you do but i just you know i was tripping off of that just you know why why were we even born why was i even born I'm telling you i made a joke a minute ago on facebook when i had a facebook page it's like you, you ever get the feeling that you were born you know for tax purposes that i was simply born for the earned income tax credit like nobody gave a fuck who keandra was gonna be nobody really gave a fuck what kiki's dreams and goals were they just saw that this number this social security number and this birth certificate would mean more money at the end of the year. Even just birthing a whole bunch of kids to work a plantation, it's heavy. It's, so heavy. it's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy, man. And I'm, I'm not leaving here heavy like this, man. I'm just, you know, and some, something's on your mind. Let it off. You know, man, man. Get that shit off, man. Mm, 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 mm. And you can't go back and change nothing. I'll be, having, I'll be chopping it up with my mom about that too. You know, like kind of all this constant apologizing. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. And then, no, don't even worry about that because we can't go back and change the past. But what we can do is, you know, try to make strides towards a better understanding of who we are and what our purpose is. And I was chopping it up with my brother yesterday. Everybody's talking about mentalities and how you think and, um, what it is you should be focused on, you know. There is no way in this world outside of marketing and advertising 
a family's uh, socioeconomic standing, our religious standing, you know what I'm saying, all of that stuff. It's, it's to, to live outside of influence. Basically, to be Mowgli. You know what I'm saying? Jungle Book. Even he came up with the code of the wolf, so he was not uninfluenced. It's no, it's nowhere. It's nowhere. It's nowhere. It's nowhere. So in a world so full of life, there can never be seclusion from the ones who care deeply, nor the ones who seek to use you. Man, instantaneous delusion. So many moments of confusion. That's why I'm I'm appreciative of like poetry and um, you know all influences aren't bad influence. I guess no no influence is a bad influence. It's just how you choose to use it or whatever. It's just uh yeah like poetry, music, artistic endeavors, anything you could do to basically unplug from everybody's expectations of you and on you, for you, for their own base, basically for their own uh, selfish needs, even if they do say, well, look at you and how proud I am of you and that came from me and, oh, you're, you're, you're you know, you're, a, you're an asset to the family, whether you looked at it as an asset or a liability, uh, they're just looking at you as an extension extension of themselves, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's an extension of their pride, bionic or otherwise, it's just, it's, you know, how many people in this world look at things and want them to flourish, shine, or find independent sustainability just for the purpose of them being independent and sustaining themselves without any forethought of how it will benefit them in the long run, you know, how many people are actually looking into what benefits a person for their own personal goals, you know, not how it will benefit the tribe, but you know what, like, just I'm looking at you, and this is what you're good at, let me, in, let me encourage that, it's not a lot of that in the world, man, is it any, is it, is, is it, is that, is that in the world anywhere, I don't know, and also, um, as an air sign, I kind of feel trapped, in earth. I don't feel like we're supposed to be here at all. It's all this heavy shit, water heavy than a motherfucker. It's, they got they got oxygen trapped down in the water and then it's like it's air in between solid things. They seem solid but they're actually vibrating so close together. Yeah. And it's down here trapped like a motherfucker, man. I'm talking about just trapped in this raggedy motherfucker around here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what led to this my mom keep trying to tell me, oh, you're going to have kids someday. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's looking bad. It's looking bad. Ugh. It's, uh, it's happening to my homegirl, me. I was like, I don't want to suffer from, like, uh, the premature Sahara desert issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some feminist shit. Like, I ain't trying to goddamn me be the, you know what I'm saying, uh, the Sahara desert and nothing like that. But, like, nah, I don't want to add nothing to this idiocracy. It's, ugh. It's a shit sandwich and it's a soggy one. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, but we just been chopping it up and I was like, I ain't coming up with no ditties or nothing. Why? This shit just heavy on my head, man. Just heavy. It's just ridiculous. I'm like, no, just keep on living. It'll all work out. It'll all be revealed to you in due time. No. <laughs> no. But I don't know. Everybody that's out there participating in that shit, you got kids and all of that, look at them. Who are they? Encourage them. Not for your own personal gain or what the fuck you can get from it. Encourage them. Dang. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying even to just... Ugh. Ugh. It's just... It's not for you. It's for them. Encourage them. Build them up. Stop telling them stories about how your parents beat you down. Be better. You know what I'm saying? Be be better. That's what you think you are anyway. You already think you better than the last generation, than the last this, and who hotter than me. You grand, you great. Oh, okay. If you so goddamn good, you could build somebody else up without any thoughts of what you might be losing or, or, or what you stand to gain from building the motherfucker up. You a cold motherfucker, build that up. You ain't cold, man. Man, you ain't cold because you feel like you got limited resources. There's only so much I could do. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Nigga, if you trip and fall and drop your eggs and they bust, I don't care which basket they in. You tripped and fucking fell. They probably all going to get busted up. 
You're not having eggs that day. You sitting up so worried about how to preserve eggs, this, that, and the third. Chickens running wild like a motherfucker, nigga. You ain't gonna have no eggs to begin with, whether you drop them or lose them or it's this basket or that basket, nigga. Shit just weird. Shit weird, man. Shit is weird. I'm tired of this pick a side shit. It's partisan shit. And it's policy shit. It's scapegoat shit. You want to blame this motherfucker for this and blame this motherfucker for that. Material was a bad idea. Who had the, who had the idea for material to exist? You don't trust your feelings. Don't trust your feelings. Do what works. Nah, the feelings, that's what that's that's what's manifested shit. How you feel about shit, how you think about shit. You know what I think? Material is just a horrible idea. All of it. I love bright, pretty colors. I like this t-shirt. I like a decent pair of leggings. These uh, jogging suits are getting out of hand. I have very big calf muscles. And they're, they're, these sweatsuits, the way you're cutting them, I just can't. I just came. It's cold outside, and I'm reduced to fleece line leggings. And I, I, I love a good hooded sweatsuit. Just a matching, and not velour because it's played out. But I still like a nice little matching sweatsuit, pullover hoodie, maybe a half zip. Zip up hoodies are, 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 are for quitters. Fuck your hair. Pull that hoodie over. I wouldn't mind seeing goddamn uh, East Bay book come back. Them starter jackets. I think I commented that on somebody's video I saw. One of the creep videos, one of his homeboy videos that he was a feature on. I saw that goddamn starter jacket and I got excited. That's a half zip hoodie all day and it's cushy and comfortable. Just just the pockets inside. It's like being like a half a kangaroo or something. It's a special. You're gonna be material. Be good goddamn material. So many jackets without hoods on them. <sighs> How did I get off on that? It don't matter. It don't matter. But uh, encourage the people around you just because they need encouragement. Or leave them motherfuckers alone because you don't got it in you to do that. You're not a builder. You're a destroyer. That's what you came to do is destroy. Build up your destructive uh, potential and just take out a lot of shit at one time. I don't know. And I guess that's why they say be hot or cold. Don't be like lukewarm and nothing like that. If you a hot motherfucker, be all the way hot. Be the hottest motherfucker you could be. If you cold, ooh, nigga, be ice cold. Be super cold. Be all the way cold. Don't be talking about I'm going to put some of my eggs over here and some of my eggs over there and see what happened. Mm-mm. The last time you took a bite of lukewarm food and that, that was the shit. Mm-mm. It's either supposed to be hot or cold. No, this is actually supposed to be room temperature. It's gazpacho. I'm not a gazpacho fan. <laughs> All right, anyway, was it raining and raving? Because it's something that's heavy on my head. You got to let it out. Because I, I, I'm telling you, I get frustrated. I don't get no ditties. Ugh. That's, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I ain't came over. Nam, not a nam ditty. Nothing. Mm-mm. I don't like it. So I got to be honest about what's been on my mind, man. And it's just... I'm telling you, I feel like I was had, I was born for the earned income tax credit. And I know for sure I've known several females in my lifetime, several males in my lifetime. They just banging these women just for a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? And you wind up and get somebody pregnant and then, you know, you, you, you sleeping with this dude just to get out your mama house and then you wonder, I'm in this bad relationship and all that. It was the intention behind it. It was, it was either short-sighted or, or uh, poorly planned or whatever it was. It didn't have love and growth and flourishing in mind. It was a, it was a desperate attempt to escape. You know what I'm saying? And we all fuck around with that shit, but... Nah, I can't see myself bringing no whole human into this world on that type of shit. On no type of shit. The world fucked up. Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying not to, I'm, I don't want to spread bad vibes or nothing like that, but to look at it and say that it's okay, it's, that's, that's, I don't know. That's not being honest with myself. I got to be honest with me. This shit is, this shit is wicked. And I ain't talking about demonic or nothing like that. The way I feel, whatever demonic Lucifer energy and whatever whatever's going on with that, nigga, that's for you and your creator to talk about, nigga. Yo, that ain't that really ain't got shit to do with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Also, 
made a little joke like uh because we from the south we go to church and stuff right so it, they they do this thing called friends and family day and it's always this big push like who's gonna bring the most people you know what i'm saying i, I probably like, you get your cousins to come people that ain't been to church in a while just basically getting people back in there getting back in fellowship because what fail not to assemble yourselves one with the other amen amen yeah yeah you don't fail to assemble yourselves one with the other but what they talking about is quantity i'm about that quality Friends and family day, like sole purpose, I'm bringing the devil to church. Lucifer, come on, bring your ass to church, man. Get in this car. Get get in this car. Now nah, you coming, man. Let's see, that's for my own purposes, right? They ain't really got nothing to do with what I feel um, uh, estrangement is, because that's what it is. It's, it's estrangement. It's a rejection. You know, it's uh, about not fitting into the status quo where there's a Godhead or there's a, a way that things are done. You know what I'm saying? Some type of Capricorn quality of a system that's set up, and this is the way it works. And you trying to uh, change the way it works is only going to bring uh, heap coals on your head. You know, it's only going to bring you um, hurt and, you know, don't, don't do that. You just do things this way. You know what I'm saying? Shit, nigga. You ain't no rebel. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you ain't rebelling. You just going with the, you going with, you going with the flow? Really? You like how this shit flowing? You like how it's going? You dig that? You don't get tired of waking up hearing sirens every day? I know that ain't that ain't everybody's life, you know. Some people wake up to see and they building next door, bomb the fuck out daily. Since I've been alive, just walking past rubble every day, you know. I'm, I know I'm supposed to focus on you know a, a villa, you know what I'm saying, a nice foyer, you know what I'm saying, a little atrium in the front, you know, fountain in the house, you know, sunken tubs, you know. Faulted ceilings, this, that, and the third. Think upon greater things. Think about this. Yeah, I do think about that. And the first thought I have is, who's cleaning those goddamn windows up high? <laughs> who's cleaning those goddamn windows? Who's doing that? You got to hire a window person, man. You got to treat that wood right. You got to condition it. Who's going to do that? Who's maintaining these marble floors? You can't just put no pine saw on that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about having it and being extravagant or keeping it. It's the upkeep of it. Are you going? Are you? Are you going to honor what it is you got? You know what I'm saying? You got a. You got a whole jet. Is that motherfucker gonna be clean? Is it gonna be crawling with bacteria and shit because you don't clean that motherfucker out? You just concerned concerned with putting your, you know, your, your seven thousand dollar shoes on the floor of that motherfucker. You ain't worried about whether it's clean or not. So you traveling around in the most luxurious, filthy motherfucker thing you could ever. It, it was kind of what Earth is like. It's luxurious filth. You know what I'm saying? It's this elevated filth. You know some Virgos. They don't like a lot of mess. Earth got bacteria and 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 germs and all of this. I don't think Earth like us. <laughs> I don't think Earth like us, man. We're talking about the heart and all of that shit. Earth don't like us. I don't think it want us here. <laughs> Do you know any Virgos that would have us walking upon it? Mm-mm. No Earth people, man. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. -mm. They run around here smiling and acting like someone. So, well, this is the system. They really don't like it, though, because it's, ugh. Ain't nothing decent in the order about this motherfucking world, man. Shit. Poles even shifting right now. It's like, ugh, I don't feel comfortable. Magma all inside of the earth being like, no, I'm, I'm finna turn this way. Another one. Okay, I'm glad I kept talking. I think whatever the moon is, that's what our uh, molten core is. And that's why we have an affinity. That's why Earth has an affinity. Whatever is inside of the moon, it's like it's like Earth trapped the moon's baby. Maybe the Earth is just pregnant with the moon's baby, but they don't fuck with the moon like that. <laughs> it's a bad relationship. It's all the same thing. I'm just trying to talk my way into it, Diddy. Real talk. <laughs> all right. <laughs> just get it off. 
who knows why things are on your mind? Who knows? Who knows? Does it have to be structured? Do I have to have uh, a three-point essay you know, where I state in the first paragraph what I'm explaining to you in the next three paragraphs and then bring that last paragraph home with insight and, and, and just be just super charismatic and win you over to my side, proselytizing? I learned that word and said I have a tendency to do that being born on February the 10th trying to win people over to my side I don't want you on my side it's not a great side to be on motherfucker you do you but in the meantime and in between time material was a bad idea whoever thought that material was good this is gonna be great but look we're gonna make things and stuff you can see it, it it's gonna be great just no horrible idea bad 